Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, tried to find a solution for this problem with the bush hog. I got the 48 inch bush hog. Not sure the brand. I think it may be an off brand, but uh, what it was doing was uh, PTO was running, but the gears were, the blade was not running at all. So couldn't find any information. Thought I'd find, uh, post what I found here. Pulled the stump jumper off. That's a chore in itself. There's a lot of videos out there. You can figure out how to do that. But basically, we're going to heat that up and pull that off. So I pulled that off, and uh, then you can get to the gearbox and remove the gearbox from the from the bush hog. Um, after that, what happens is you got to break the uh, gearbox open, which is not hard to do at all. It's four bolts and I think eight bolts on top. Pulls out and... Uh, going to pull this this out first this is the this is the problem here uh in here the the top gear here it's got a little slot i hope you can see it a key right there sheared off so you get a pulley puller on there uh get that pulled off go up to the local hardware and get a new key and put it in there i thought about welding it thought i probably better not gearbox comes apart really easy drain the fluid out and very straightforward uh but yeah i had a 48 inch bush hog here that was pto spinning but the blade was not spinning it would spin lightly but it obviously had no pressure there but uh hope that helps somebody else out i had a little bit of a problem finding information on it but uh there was a a key uh keypad in there not a keypad, sorry. Uh, there was a key in there in that gear that had sheared. So, hope it helps someone. Have a great day.